Welcome! Here's what happened on the sun yesterday, and my forecast of what will happen in the near future. Let's see if there's been any significant flares by looking at the NOAA GOES X-ray plot. Since the M flare that I discussed yesterday, there's been just one small C flare, so things have been rather quiet on the flare front. You will also note that the X-ray background has fallen to about the B4 level, which is most likely due to the setting of NOAA active region 1175 behind the west limb. We still have two numbered spot regions on the eastern half of the solar disk. Region 1177, which is a weak spot group in the northeast, and Region 1176, which is the large region in the southeast that I discussed yesterday. See the link in the description box below. The SDO white light and magnetic data show 1176 rotating onto the disk. As it comes better into view, we see that it is no longer as complex as when we saw it a couple weeks ago. It is now magnetically classified as a beta gamma region, which means that it is likely to produce only small to moderate flares. The Helium-2 image, characteristic of 50,000 degrees Kelvin, shows an interesting filament eruption toward the end of the movie. There! Did you see it? There! We can see a hint of the same event in the coronal images. There! By combining the magnetic images with that of the corona, we could trace the magnetic field configuration of the solar atmosphere. Where the calculated field lines trace out the observed coronal fields, we are seeing potential, or low energy, configuration magnetic loops. Looking at the whole solar corona, from a combination of stereo and SDO data, we see that there are still a number of regions yet to rotate onto the Earth-facing hemisphere of the Sun. So, activity should pick up somewhat, but by how much? Let's take a look at the Stereo B movie and see how active these regions are. This will be four repeats. There doesn't seem to be much going on there, but what about the high corona? Using the Stereo B coronagraph data we can see uh, whether there have been any major eruptions. The earth in these images is to the right. We'll have four repeats. We can see a coronal mass ejection heading away from the earth. Can we see what caused it? That this movie is from Stereo A, and I saw no activity there. So in summary, for the last day at least, the sun has been fairly quiet. The sunspot number is currently at a modest 46. We are still in a fairly fast solar wind stream of nearly 500 kilometers per second, but the weak auroral oval pictured here in the background means that we have not had any major geomagnetic activity. With more regions, albeit relatively quiet ones, due to rotate onto the disk over the next few days, the X-ray background should increase somewhat we may have a few more minor flares. Our best chance of getting a major flare is a sudden emergence of new magnetic flux, which can happen at any time. Over the next few months this burst of activity will slowly decay away, and the forecast is for another such burst, mainly led in the northern hemisphere, to occur in October, plus or minus a couple of Carrington rotations. The southern hemisphere is overdue to have its own major outbreak of activity before the end of this year, but the timing of that is unknown. I'll let you know if I see any indications of that happening. Stay tuned, keep safe, bye for now.